good. And you hear me? And you're rolling? How about myself? Okay. All right, awesome. And you're rolling? Okay, good. Hey guys, it's Kevin from the New Warehouse Podcast here. Hey guys, it's Kevin from the New Warehouse Podcast here at Modex, and I am at the Big Joe booth, and I am joined by Cullen Werzer. He's the Director of Dealer Development, and he's going to talk us a little bit through all the Big Joe solutions that they're showing here. So, Cullen, it's a pleasure. Pleasure to meet you, Kevin. You too. Good so. to see you here. So why don't you tell us a little bit, I guess first tell us a little bit about Big Joe for people that aren't familiar. So Big Joe, we are a, a material handling company dedicated to finding solutions for customers. We've definitely uh, grown drastically here over the last couple of years. We found ourselves in a great space. Uh, we're looking to move, stack, automate, as well as access. So those are the th uh, things that we're trying to do for customers here. So as you guys see here, we have a vast array of equipment that we have on hand. Yes. So I, I tend to always like to start at the big bad boy here, which is going to be our All Spartan right. truck. It's big bad boy here. Yes, Let's exactly. So this is a lithium forklift that we have developed for the North American market. And it is going to be really focused on the DCs and a lot of the high output areas. Yeah. And what's great about this truck is, is it's a fully integrated system, which means that we've actually taken the battery of the truck and we've built the forklift around this. And what we're looking to do is, is any customers that are currently using an IC truck of some sort, so an internal combustion truck, and actually convert that customer over to an electric truck. Mm -hmm. And what's great about our truck is, is it's, it's built very similar to a lot of LPG cushion tire trucks out there it's a lower profile so this is a purpose-built truck it's built for actually somebody from that LPG market to jump into this machine and it's gonna feel just like home for them really so yes exactly okay. so we could go through all the options here but it's really great about it is is there's some cool features here as you can see here we've got once again, this is built very much around that lithium battery. So as you can okay. tell for the operators, it's all about the comfort, the ergonomics, as well as you know ease of charging. Yeah, okay. So built in here, but coming around to the backside as well, the smooth the rounded counterweight, which is definitely gonna make it very similar to a lot of the uh, LPG machines out right. there. Yeah. And operators in general tend to really like it. We've had great success with it so far. And we're really looking forward to more success with it. As we also come more this way, as we were talking about more of the rounded counterweight, this is actually our newly designed counterbalance unit, which is a walk behind counterbalance okay. unit, 3000 pound capacity. As you see here, this is a cast counterweight. Uh, previously, wow. there a lot of the other companies out there, they, they tend to use more of like a steel, kind of bent steel. We redesigned our model with a cast counterweight, and on top of that as well, that gave us additional ground clearance, which is great because oh, yeah. this will do everything that a sit-down ride-on forklift will do, as well as it's safer because it's a walk-behind unit. So multiple different options for this unit, lithium enabled as well, just like all of our product line. And what's great is, is it's gonna be able to go in and out of those trailers at ease with that extra ground clearance, and it's yeah. gonna be able to do everything a regular forklift does. Yeah, I think that's great. And I guess for the, the lithium aspect too, for you guys, I mean, this is a simple kind of just plug-in, right? Correct, yeah. yeah. So we can, we can actually have this plugged in directly into just your 120 volt you know, plug, like your standard plug. Yeah. Or if you have a multi-shift application and need to fast charge it, we can actually fast charge this with a secondary charger, very simple. Yeah. So if you have multi-shifts, we're able to actually get through that shift with one battery. We just need to pair it with the correct charger. Yeah, so. absolutely. And I think that 120 volt plug-in mm -hmm. is so key, especially as we start to see, you know, utilization of some of these smaller spaces absolutely filming areas for something like this and and i have a lpt 26 myself so fantastic i love it uh and i think it's great and you know i think being able to do that makes uh makes gives you so much more flexibility around the equipment it, yeah. it truly does and you know that's one thing that we really focus on as a company as well you know hey what makes sense for the operators what's make sense for the uh, end user as well and the fact that it's lithium as well too another th key point here is is uh, there's not the gassing issue that you're finding with even the lead acid batteries. You know, they're they're going to have some sort of venting system in their charging area. We're not going to yeah. require that. And that's a huge benefit for a lot of people for capital costs. They yeah. don't need to put that into the building. So that's another huge benefit there for us. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, a great key feature, too, is, is even the smallest of operators can utilize this machine. It's power steering. Yeah. So I always say I can use my pinky here and I can move this machine oh, wow. around that's all day. Nice. So yeah. it's very, very nice. Very easy to use. So, but... Very good. Coming from there, we can kind of work our way this way. Sure, and, uh, let's check this out over here. We can talk to you guys about our PDSR unit. So the PDSR, we, we brought this to the market to really show the advantages of having a walk-behind reach truck. 
And what this is going to do, this is going to do everything that a standard traditional ride on reach truck does, but it's going to be a walk behind. So once again, operator training comes into key, not as much as needed, as well as total cost of ownership. Our total cost of ownership is going to be drastically lower than all your traditional lifts out there. So this has been a staple for us. All of our products, like I stated before, are all lithium enabled, which is fantastic for us. So once again, we can plug this into a 120 and or if you have a multi-shift application, we can pair you with the right charger. We can get through all those applications off of a single battery with the lithium wow. product. So are you seeing now that you know most of the machines that you're putting out there are, are pretty much this lithium? Yeah, we have seen a drastic intake for that. And just to give you an idea here, you know, us as a whole, we are the largest manufacturer of lithium products in the United States right now when it comes to material handling equipment. So we have the largest line of pallet jacks, all of which are lithium enabled, as well as with our walk behind uh, reach trucks, counterbalance, and uh, our sit down ride on forklifts. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's such a great thing. And I think it just makes it so much easier to use, like I was saying before. And, you know, having that easy kind of charge or right. flexibility and charging makes yeah. such a difference. Everybody has a cell phone. Everybody loves plugging their cell phone in all the time. We're the yeah. same way now. So that's what's great. And what's great is, is this is all built by us as well. So it's fantastic. So we do have other battery partners that we partner with, but all of our lithium product is partners that we are actually in charge of that. So what Mason's going to do here is, is this is our BPM 44. This is our semi-autonomous pallet jack. What this means is, is that we have to manually stab a pallet, but from there we have a predetermined mission set that we've already built into it, and we can send it to do any sort of job that works for the customer. Got so it. as you see here, he's manually stabbing into the pallet. He's driving this. What's great about this truck is, is it's based off of our RPL 44, which is our standard truck. The only difference is, is that we, with our partner, uh, Thoro AI, we right. then partner with them. They put the uh, robotics portion of it into it, and then we have a semi-autonomous robot. Gotcha. Okay. So he's just speared the pallet here. Right? Yes. So now, what he's just pressing, he's sending it off on its way. Yes. So now he's sending it on its way here. So as we see, it's actually going to. We've already got a route determined here. It's going to follow that route. And do it extremely safe with our blue lights and blink lights as well. Uh, it's got a camera system as well as a LiDAR system that's going to detect any human detection, any forklift detection. So safety wise, it's one of the safest machines on the market and it's going to stop and it's going to actually, you know, try to either one go around it or it will time out eventually and we'll, then we'll have to reset the machine. But it is very safe yeah. compared to a lot of the other ones out there that are just running left and right. So as you see yeah. here, it's going to be dropping the pallet. Okay. So once it drops the pallet, then it's going to actually come out from the pallet. As it comes out, there's a little laser beam that just popped out right there. And that little laser beam, what that's doing is, is that's detecting on whether or not it dropped the pallet. Okay. So for example, a common a common issue within, you know, a lot of pallet jacks out there is, is if it's a lighter pallet dropping that load, that detects whether or not it actually dropped the load successfully. Once it's detected oh, wow. the load successful, then it will drop. If not, it'll time out and then we'll have to re-engage. So, and uh, we actually want the human interaction with this. That is one thing that we're really looking to do. And it, it just, it just makes more sense. Yeah. You know, have somebody interact with the AMR and then move out from there. Yeah, so. I think it's very interesting because, you know, a lot of times it's about uh, like the robot narrative is like, oh, let's take the human out of it. It's Absolutely. Really, but I think you have more control over here. And I think, you know, there's certainly been a challenge with some AMRs that are out there in terms of actually like getting into the pallet and spearing that yes. pallet. So being able to have that human interaction do that Absolutely. and make sure that that's accomplished. But then Absolutely. taking that travel time out of the equation for the human, I think Absolutely. is a, a big differentiator. Right? So exactly, and, and yeah. you hit a you hit a huge point there. So 80% of a forklift or a material handling piece of equipment's life is travel, right? Yeah. We're eliminating the travel portion. It's still requiring the 20% lifting portion. And once it removes that 80%, you know, it's money back into the customer's pocket at that point. Yeah, I think that's so, fantastic. So. It's such a great way too to kind of just get uh, most like a, an entry into automation. Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. So the entry point of this especially is, is, you know, price driven or for everything. There's a lot of upfront investment when it comes down to a lot of the other brands out there. For us, we're a turnkey solution. You know, within one hour, we can have this moving pallets as well as it's going to be a, roughly about a quarter of the cost of oh, wow. what all the other ones are out on the market. This day. Yeah, so. that's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's such a cool thing. And then if you wanted to use it manually, you could do that as well. Absolutely. So yeah. another key feature of this is, is if it's ever in autonomous mode, we can actually walk up to that unit, grab the handle, pull the handle down, and it'll actually go back into manual mode. And even let's say for some reason that the autonomy module fails in some aspect, you're not going to be down. If you have a person that's available to actually you know, hit the button on the machine to actually send wow. it to go, yeah. they'll still be able to actually operate this as a ride on pallet jack as well. Wow. So that's ultimate flexibility. It sounds like that's a lot of the focus here at Big Joe is making sure that we have these flexible solutions to Absolutely. be able to do that. 
Um, and then, are, are we looking at anything else? Oh yeah, we can we can jump around here and we can just kind of show our pallet jack as well. Okay. So here we actually have an LPT40. So what's great about yeah. the LPT40 is is this is built for either one in the manufacturing facility and or in the back of a trailer, depending yeah. on the capacity. Huge benefit here is lithium enabled. We have a suitcase style battery. We can pull the battery Possibly, out yeah. and we can actually replace the battery. So what that means for the Mr. End user is is they're going to have constant use of the truck throughout the day. So you can buy multiple batteries and they can be able to do multiple shifts throughout. Or if it's a truck driver going down the road, essentially yeah, if he needs to, he can pull another yeah. battery out. Exactly. Yeah. Tolan, I want to thank you so much for showing me around the Big Joe booth here at Modex. If yes. people want to get in touch with Big Joe, what's the best way to do that? So you can reach out to us online. So if you go to our website, especially uh, easy access, get a hold of them or just swing by the booth and drop off your business card. And we have uh, four regional managers that take care of the United States and a multitude of other people within our company to take care of it as well. All right, Colin, so, I appreciate the tour. Awesome. Thank you, my Thank friend. Thank you. All right, so check out Big Joe forklifts um, and make sure you check out these lithium flexibility and also the AMR as well.